Namaste Nilabhai. In this session, we'd like to um, discuss um, the caste system. Um, at present, um, there's an enactment by the government to introduce um, a caste discrimination clause um, in the Equality Act 2010. Um, and there's current debate about this um, and the government are consulting. Um, if we look at um, caste, well, caste comes from a Portuguese term, casta, meaning race or lineage. Um, in the Hindu tradition, we would probably define that as um, varna or jati. Varna um, sort of meaning, literally translating as colour and jati as birth. Um, perhaps you could elaborate on this a little bit more, um, you know, where these definitions came from, where they originated from as well, and how this impacts on this um, current um, enactment um, which is pending. Indeed, it's good to <coughs> explore this idea at this stage because I think it's very crucial. The Hindus in the UK, mm -hmm. you know, understand that the ideas of caste and exactly where they stand on it. It's important to clarify because they're very, very confused. I'm telling you, <coughs> if you ask a Hindu on the street, um, "Do you believe in caste?" He says, "Yeah, I'm Brahmin." Like you, like, why you take a Janamaya and say, "Look, I'm Brahmin." <laughs> <laughs> Didn't need to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then they say, "Okay, uh, Miss Erani, I mean, would you like to marry within your own group?" He says, "Of course, it's much more it's right, isn't it?" What's wrong with that? And you say, oh dear, there seems to be caste discrimination visible in the United mm -hmm. Kingdom. Now this is actually seriously flawed. Mm -hmm. Let me explain. First of all, in order for us to understand the idea of caste or division of humanity, you know, people always subdivide, they always kind of produce you know, stratification in society. Forget about society. Even in a family there is stratification. If you until about hundred years back or fifty years back, in the Hindu family or even in all families throughout the world, the father was the head of the house. Mm -hmm. He was the money earner and the wife was there to, you know, can mm -hmm. find to the kitchen and working and looking up the children and so on. And the husband was kind of making money and controlling the household. Standard stuff. Is there anything wrong? No, you have to divide labor, saying, okay, the husband's job is to make money and earn money and wife's money to keep the house. That's fair enough. It suited a society at a particular mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Look at the situation today. Mm -hmm. It's almost reversed. Very <laughs> far, isn't it? Because I asked people, I said, I mean, check out your own families. I said, majority of households in the UK are not controlled by the fathers anymore. <laughs> it's the mothers who hold the key. We want to invite a friend, you have to check with your wife first before you can invite a friend to come home. So things are getting really out of hand now. So really you can see the roles are reversed. Mm -hmm. The husbands are learning how to change nappies and the wives are earning <clears> bigger salaries than the husbands. Mm -hmm. So, see. So, Division is understandable, but you must take into account the context in which you find yourself. Hundred years mm -hmm. ago, the husbands were the main money earners, so understand that they were the head of the household. Mm -hmm. Now, situation has changed. Mm -hmm. So, classification is still there. You divide, saying, okay, I'm going to do the shopping, you do the, you know, this and that. So, you divide labor within a family. Mm -hmm. So, identity caste is nothing nasty, simply division of labor depending on the needs of the society, but it must continue to evolve, to show a change, if you like, contextual change that is taking place in the world that we live in. So, original idea of caste is very simple. In the Purushukta, there's a scripture of authority of Hinduism. Mm -hmm. <coughs> there's a simple mention, this is how the word caste or the idea of Varna came into the Hindu tradition. Mm -hmm. It makes a simple comment, that is different parts of the body fulfill different functions for the betterment of the greater body, in the same way in society, there are people with different attributes or different temperaments or different skills. They must master those skills for the betterment of the greater mm -hmm. society. It's mm -hmm. such an honest, simple comment mm -hmm. regarding division of labor based on your ability. Mm -hmm. This is a simple con con concept mm -hmm. of caste. Now, this idea is in the scripture of authority. But like everything, you know, it easily gets corrupted. It's not because there is some kind of horrible cons conspiracy. It gets corrupted in a very natural way. Let me show you. It is understandable that if you are, for example, a doctor and your wife is a doctor, you love to bring your children up as doctors. Mm -hmm. You just gen gently ignore them, come on, be a doctor. Mm -hmm. You know, Again, there is a reason. Because the skills the parents possess mm -hmm. can be easily passed on to the offspring. Mm -hmm. So it is a natural, if you like, imposition mm -hmm. trying to say, carry on with the same profession mm -hmm. because we can help you. Sure. Now, this may be okay in the UK, I'm just saying doctors asking mm -hmm. the children to be doctors. Mm -hmm. In India, in say Middle Ages, mm -hmm. suppose you are in a village, there is no education, there is no availability, there is no mobility mm -hmm. of labor, mm -hmm. and you are a potter, let's say, and you've got a son, mm -hmm. there is no education. Mm -hmm. Now the only way the little potter's son can carry on making a living is mm -hmm. to become a potter. Mm -hmm. So it becomes hereditary. Mm -hmm. So it's not some evil monster making in a, some a system. Human beings, of course, need to pass on their skills to the children, mm -hmm. but that's only way they survive, mm -hmm. and it becomes hereditary. So if you are a medicine man in the village, your your, child, your son or daughter will become a medicine woman or whatever. So it's a natural thing for transition. Mm -hmm. 
And again, there's another problem that we have in every society mm -hmm. in the world, and that is that you create a hierarchy. That's right. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. this is understandable. Why? Mm -hmm. Because again, in every society, you require a little bit of stratification. So there are some people who are good at governing, you know, like very good kings and, mm -hmm. you know, fighters and, you know, um, administrators. So you have one class who are administrators, fighters. There's mm -hmm. another class who are intellectuals, are very good teachers. Uh, etc. So they say, okay, we've got another, another set of people who are very intellectual, mm -hmm. so we'll give them a different if you like, hierarchy. Mm -hmm. There are those who are administrator, another hierarchy, the Kshatriya. Mm -hmm. Then so there are people who do trading, or traders. We call them Vaishya. Mm -hmm. Again, again, this is just your temperament, you perhaps inherited from your parents, etc. You become a Vaishya. Mm -hmm. and within Vaishya, they say, okay, we have different if you like, skills. So mm -hmm. if you are, for example, you're a farmer, you're considered to be higher. Mm -hmm. Why? The farmer produces something from nothing, mm -hmm. from, the, from this literally soil he produces food. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's considered to be very high. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a hierarchy in the, in the, really? in the, in the jatis mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So the, the farmers mm -hmm. are given very high priority because mm -hmm. they are producing something from nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then if you are, suppose you are a shoemaker or a potter, they say, well, you are lower down the rung. Mm -hmm. The hierarchy develops naturally. Mm -hmm. So intellectuals, administrators, mm -hmm. the traders, and then there's those who are riffraff, I'm sorry to use the word, mm -hmm. there's the people who just are in the service industry, so maybe mm -hmm. working for McDonald's now. Uh -huh. they call, they call them, I'm going to get real stick for McDonald's. <laughs> they're considered to be in the service industry, so they're, they're considered to be okay at the bottom. The, bottom. the mm -hmm. moment, look, you get the UK. People who are intellectuals mm -hmm. get huge salaries mm -hmm. in the banks, of course, now they're in banks. Mm -hmm. so they've got the commerce and the, the intellect. Mm -hmm. So they're really kind of Vaishya mm -hmm. and the Brahmins mm -hmm. combined. Mm -hmm. And there are poor Shudras who are working on living wage, you know, the minimum minimum wage sure. at yeah. the bottom, bottom mm -hmm. of the run. So mm -hmm. a hierarchy develops, mm -hmm. not because there's some evil monster, you know, dictating, it's naturally, if you like, social evolution. So, so it's almost like a social stratification. Social stratification. Yeah. Social stratification. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is not a nasty thing, mm -hmm. but then this thing became very stodgy and became kind of fixated in the Hindu scripture. Mm. And then while it paraded as Hindu injunction, mm. that is a hereditary hierarchical mm. caste system. Mm. Mm. The scripture of authority like the Purushottam never mentioned hereditary or hierarchy, mm. simply said division of labor based on mm. age and ability. Mm. This is what Ashram. Mm. But in no time mm. it degenerated into a hereditary yeah. hierarchical caste system in India. Mm -hmm. And it paraded as that as in a religious injunction mm -hmm. for, for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. You see, there, are, there is a lobby that's trying to say that it doesn't belong to Hindus at all. And yep. that I don't agree. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. I mean, um, the caste system as we know it today um, possibly is a diluted version of what um, it originally was. And I think some changes have arisen. So originally, if we look at the Vedic period, that's when the Varanashram, or rather the Varana system, came about. But I think post-Mughal periods and possibly British classification of different uh, types of caste has resulted in what we know as a, a caste system now. And perhaps that's incorrect because um, caste should be determined by your ability rather than you know, classifying you, you know, in a particular category based on your, your social status or your clan or your tribe or you know, your heritage. So it's quite interesting how that, that distinction has come about. Um, you see, it's, 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 the idea was very pure. Mm -hmm. Division of labor based on your ability. Mm -hmm. It's a very pure idea that every modern society adopts. That's mm -hmm. why you have streaming of youngsters going to, to study different subjects mm -hmm. depending on their ability, mm -hmm. not what their parents were doing. That's right. Mm -hmm. So every modern society mm -hmm. uses this idea of division of mm -hmm. labor based on your ability. Yes. That's a pure idea. Mm -hmm. It degenerated into a hereditary mm -hmm. hierarchical system yeah. which has become seriously outdated. Mm -hmm. Now in India, of course, if you have this regulation saying you mustn't discriminate, I understand you mm -hmm. must do that mm -hmm. because you must protect those people who can, do not have the mobility. Mm -hmm. But now the social, if you like, the social landscape of India is changing. Social economic landscape of India is changing so dramatically mm -hmm. that Bill Gates said, "Look, IT, forget mm -hmm. about potting, you know, potter's wheel now. Come and do IT." And they will be jumping on that. Mm -hmm. So the social economic landscape will demolish the hereditary caste system in India, not us mm -hmm. reaching it out of India, out yeah. of London. But the natural socio-economic landscape mm -hmm. changes in India will automatically demolish the hereditary mm -hmm. caste system. So it doesn't, I mean, it will happen naturally mm -hmm. and it will take time, but it's already happening in dramatic manner at the moment in India. I think, I mean, it's, the issue has recently been raised with the reservations and sort of the, the um, some of the caste that feel, um, you know, deprived or neglected. And we're seeing a lot of that rise up again, um, even though, you know, some say that the caste system is now defunct and it's not, you know, I think it's still visible there. Um. It is very important that we recognize the problem and face it mm -hmm. rather than try and hide it. Mm -hmm. Look, a lot of people say, why do people convert from Hinduism to other religion? Mm -hmm. One of the reasons was the caste. Mm -hmm. The lower caste were so severely oppressed mm -hmm. 
the only way they could get out, like Ambedkar, mm -hmm. the person who wrote the yeah. Constitution of India, mm -hmm. he was a complete outcast mm -hmm. and got so fed up, he said, I'm going to become Buddhist and then I write the Constitution of India. Yeah. So you can see that the, we have been nasty. Look, one best thing the hereditary hierarchical caste system of India mm -hmm. is not Hinduism, it's an atrocity that paraded as Hinduism. Mm -hmm. You must make the distinction. And Ambedkar did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Look at the honesty of this man. He said, this hereditary hierarchical caste system was not preached by Hinduism, mm -hmm. cannot be preached out by Hinduism. Mm -hmm. It's a socio-economic strat stratification, mm -hmm. visible in every society in the world. Mm -hmm. Even today, if you are a communist, mm -hmm. you belong to a certain hierarchy, you can go to the Black Sea and have your holiday, mm -hmm. otherwise you will just stay and starve. Mm -hmm. So in every society, there is a hierarchy mm -hmm. and there is hereditary element as well. This mm -hmm. is not natural, human, if you like, uh, failing is the right word. In the UK, of course, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is what I tell the legislators. Mm -hmm. I say, if you want to put in a you know, law saying no caste discrimination, mm -hmm. please change the word to say no caste or class discrimination. Right. Mm -hmm. The word thing, what paraded as a hereditary caste system in India, mm -hmm. is very visible even today in the United Kingdom mm -hmm. as the English class system. Mm -hmm. By birth, you know, you've got a silver spoon in your mouth, and you go to top university, and you've got top jobs, and you get in the government. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's, we see that in front of us. So mm -hmm. there is definitely discrimination based on your class mm -hmm. in the United Kingdom even today. Mm -hmm. So you want to legislate, legislate mm -hmm. against the class system rather mm -hmm. than the caste system. Interesting. I mean, as, as Hindus or young Hindus um, in the UK, perhaps we don't see um, that so much as an issue, um, the caste, you know, being so much of a problem. Whereas in the past, you know, you may have had to marry within your particular caste or you're within your community. Perhaps that maybe is still there with, I don't know, you have the, you know, the Patel community and their gums, etc. But on the whole, in general, intercaste, you know, relationships or marriages isn't really frowned upon now. So I'd say that in the UK, it's not really so much of an issue for us um, Hindus here. Um, in fact, it's good name, but you brought this into focus. Mm. My aim is to tell the Hindu public in the United Kingdom, mm. please be very careful when there, there, there is a consultation by the government mm. regarding the caste issue. That in the United Kingdom, in just one generation, the hereditary hierarchical caste system has turned into a benevolent clan system. Mm -hmm. People with similar background, simple, similar cultural background, linguistic background, kind of group together, celebrate festivals together, mm -hmm. perhaps they are quite comfortable to marry within their own group, is a matter of convenience. Nothing to be discriminatory. Mm -hmm. So a, a, a benevolent clan mm -hmm. system is nothing to be kind of be worried about. We all have that. You mm -hmm. know, I must say I'm a Lohana and I like to hop, go in the Lohana, sure. you know, the Garba. Let me let it be. So there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that. Mm -hmm. It's not discriminatory. It's not a casteist idea. So it's if a clan system. Mm -hmm. So I'm just telling the, the Hindu public UK, please be careful. When they ask you, is there a caste system, you can say there is no hereditary hierarchical caste system, mm -hmm. it's disappeared in one generation. Yeah. Because everybody mm -hmm. that I come across at university, mm -hmm. almost half the Hindu youngsters mm -hmm. are studying medicine yeah. or becoming optician or dentist or, mm -hmm. or pharmacist. Mm -hmm. So where is your, you know, there are farmers in India, why are you doing that? Oh no, my mummy. So the, the, the hereditary mm -hmm. element disappeared yes. overnight. Yeah. The hierarchy has disappeared as well. Mm -hmm. Forget about marrying people from different groups, if you like. Marrying people of other religion also mm -hmm. is now quite normal, mm -hmm. quite normal, mm -hmm. not frowned upon. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's encouraged sometimes. Mm -hmm. So the things are changing dramatically. The hereditary hierarchical caste system has turned very quickly into a benevolent clan system, mm -hmm. and you cannot put in legislation against the clan system. Otherwise, all the Scottish clans will jump on, yeah, up and down <laughs> with the skills. <laughs> so you can't allow that. So in, in that way, this idea we must make the Hindus aware that mm -hmm. what they have is a feel like a benevolent mm -hmm. clan mm -hmm. system, mm -hmm. and there's nothing nasty about it. Mm -hmm. It's just people with similar background kind of want to mix and match mm -hmm. together. It works fine. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, so be it. I think up until now, um, you know, caste perhaps has been misunderstood or many people haven't really thought much about it. If the government were to bring in this legislation, it might bring up a whole uproar of, you know, um, issues within the community. And I think not just for Hindus as well, because a caste system exists within other Indic religions, such as Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism. So um, perhaps, you know, that, that could be a, a downside or disadvantage to bringing yeah. that enactment in. In India, you must legislate against caste discrimination. I agree with that 100%. Mm -hmm. You're still there in mm -hmm. the villages, so you need to protect mm -hmm. those people mm -hmm. who are struggling. Mm -hmm. Perfectly fine. 
the United Kingdom, it has died a natural death because mm -hmm. it was never Hinduism, so it has just disappeared because the socio-economic landscape is different. Mm -hmm. You've got the mobility, so you can be a farmer's son, but you can go into medicine. Yeah. So this mobility is there, so it's mm -hmm. disappeared. Mm -hmm. And the hierarchy has disappeared. Mm -hmm. There's no kind of upper and lower anymore or outcast anymore, mm -hmm. despite what the government is claiming. There's no Dalit class as such. Mm -hmm. Everybody's in welcome in every Hindu temple throughout the UK, mm -hmm. so it's nonsense. Mm -hmm. So it has disappeared very naturally, very easily. Mm -hmm. If the government wants to put in a legislation, mm -hmm. then we are going to revive the caste system. Mm -hmm. Forget about losing it, yeah. you lost it already, yes. yeah. but we'll revive it because then you have to ask, what is your caste, when mm -hmm. you want to go for employment, mm -hmm. they will ask you. Yeah. Just as they ask you, what's your gender, mm -hmm. they'll mm -hmm. ask you, what is your caste? And the poor boy will go home and say, well, Mom, what's my caste? And mommy says, I don't know, you know, we married your father who is from a different class and I'm, I don't know, what we are mixed up. Mm -hmm. So how are they going to legislate? It's a very, very horrendous idea because it will revive the caste system. Mm -hmm. The thing that has already died, natural death, mm -hmm. by putting it into legislation, they will revive it. Mm -hmm. And this will create tremendous problems. I'll just give an example. Mm -hmm. Suppose a temple in UK mm -hmm. decides to get, you know, hire a priest who is from Brahmin caste, mm -hmm. you know, because considered to be kind of people who naturally been brought up to learn the scriptures sure. and so on. Mm -hmm. Understandable. The moment they do it, mm -hmm. somebody could immediately take them to court mm -hmm. and say, look, because I am a Shudra, mm -hmm. I was working in McDonald's and now I want to be a priest, so you mm -hmm. don't let me because I'm Shudra. Mm -hmm. The poor temple has to go to the court and fight the ground mm -hmm. that he has not been discriminated against. Right. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a real hell for all the temples, almost all the Hindu bodies mm -hmm. in the UK, if they allow this thing to become like in, in, incorporated in the, leg, in the legislation. Does that mean that they have to then log, you know, who's coming and from which caste they're from to events and there'll be it, no transparency there? It'll be, it'll be a frightful yeah. scenario. Mm -hmm. It'll be impossible mm -hmm. to, in, in fact, in, it'll be impossible to implement. I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. Suppose, uh, you know, we see there's a lot of intermarriages and you're between mm -hmm. different, cl different clans, I should use mm -hmm. the word, different clans, a lot of intermarriage going on, so which clan do you belong to? What, mm -hmm. what clan do the children belong mm -hmm. to now? How are you going to distinguish mm -hmm. that? Okay, number one. The second problem is this. The way the clans, the caste system described in the scripture of authority, say the Bhagavad Gita, is very different. Mm -hmm. It says your, your, your attribute decide what is your, 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 your caste. Mm -hmm. Now suppose, you know, look at me, In the, I teach, you know, at, at top universities, mm -hmm. so I'm a Brahmin, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. doing that work. Mm -hmm. And then I stand up for my religion, so I'm a Kshatriya, yeah. five, I'm a fighter. Yeah. And then I help my daughter in a business, yeah. I'm a Vaishya. And then my wife says, clean the drains, so I clean the drains at home, mm -hmm. and there's a routine stuff in there. <laughs> so I'm a Shudra. Yeah. So which caste do I belong to now, according to the scripture mm -hmm. of authority? Mm -hmm. So I've lost, if you like, the caste. Yeah. And if I'm, in, you know, this intermarriage, yeah. which caste do the children belong to? So it's going to be almost impossible to legislate mm -hmm. on this issue. Mm -hmm. In fact, I warned, I was invited to a, a, a you know, senior judges meeting in, in Warwickshire about a, six months back. Right. There were mm -hmm. 100 senior judges, mm -hmm. and I told them, if you legislate, mm -hmm. I'll be in your courts trying to explain to you what is the cost and charge you a thousand pounds per hour for so watching. <laughs> because it's true, because I can really take them apart. They don't know what they're talking about, and they want to legislate something mm -hmm. in, in mm -hmm. going to an area where they are very unfamiliar mm -hmm. and they're going to get in a real mess. So it's a serious issue. Who are the proponents who are lobbying for this to, to go through at the moment? Look, I suspect, my language is very guarded, mm -hmm. I suspect there is a lobby mm -hmm. which is trying to undermine Hinduism mm -hmm. in the United Kingdom right. and use this ploy to try and convert people in India. Right. There is a lobby. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm very upset about it mm -hmm. because this lobby the motivation is not really trying to protect people mm -hmm. who are being discriminated mm -hmm. against. Mm -hmm. The motivation is to downgrade Hinduism mm -hmm. or, you know, in a way, de demolish the dignity of this religion mm -hmm. and use that ploy mm -hmm. to go and convert people in India. So I'm right. very upset by that. Okay. So Dilip, why is, why is this clause suddenly come in um, to legislation? Um, okay. You see, for example, there was this case of a lady who had been brought from India and trained, used as a slave worker. Mm -hmm. So she was living in somebody's house in the UK mm -hmm. and she was paid salary that is suited for Indian market. So they, she was paid in rupees in India, which is peanuts. Okay. So that's why, of course, this country got really wound up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But by the way, you know, they made a big issue in the Guardian newspaper saying, caste legislation, first caste case in the UK. Mm -hmm. Actually, that lady was Christian. Right. So how can you say it's a caste issue? It's nothing with, she's not a Hindu lady. So how can you say it's a caste issue? We can say a religious problem. You know, Hindus are treating the Christians as slaves. Mm -hmm. That's a different game. Right. So they didn't say that it's a caste mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. So you can see how poor, the reason is this. Mm -hmm. In fact, this is so crucial that we put across in the media. Mm -hmm. The Hindus themselves are so poorly educated about the caste issue, they mm -hmm. can't distinguish between this kind of very simple idea of division of labor based on your age and ability. It's a pure idea of caste in the mm -hmm. Bhagavad Gita as well as in the Purushottam Rig Veda. Mm -hmm. The Hindus don't have a clue about this. They are now fixated that they think they are caste. Why is it? Because of poor education they have about their own religion. It doesn't stop there. 
somehow the West is so fixated on scriptures, mm -hmm. the whole Western you know, ideology of religion is to kind of refer it to a scripture. Mm -hmm. Everything has to be, when I do it in, in teaching of Hinduism, only which chapter of which verse, I, I don't know, I'm just telling you straight off, yeah. the, off the cuff. Mm -hmm. I don't need to kind of refer to my scripture. We are not fixated on the scripture. Mm -hmm. The West is fixed on scripture. Everything Christianity has to be, you know, St. John's Bible, whatever. Mm -hmm. They have to kind of get a, you know, scriptural confirmation mm -hmm. to anything you want to assert. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. We never had that. Mm -hmm. We are not fixed on the scripture. So the Manusmruti, the scripture which we promoted, the hereditary hierarchical caste system, has been outdated for 500 years. Mm -hmm. No Hindu has got it in his house. <laughs> but the West is fixated on it. Mm -hmm. to, 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 you know, to, to what extent? When I came to the system, in the education system, about 25 years back, the GCSE syllabus in Hinduism had about 20% of hereditary hierarchical caste system as the teaching of Hinduism. I had to fight an Excel board, left, right, and said, this is an atrocity that paraded as Hinduism, mm -hmm. it is not Hinduism, take mm -hmm. it out. They said, no, Mr. Lakhan, it is Hinduism. I said, it's not. I said, would you teach, uh, the, you know, the, 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 the Inquisition as Christianity, mm -hmm. or Crusades as Christianity, mm -hmm. this happened in the name of mm -hmm. Christianity. Oh, no, no, Mr. Lakhan, there's no Christianity. I said, in that case, this is not, mm -hmm. it's the atrocity that mm -hmm. paraded as Hinduism, it is not Hinduism, full stop, take it out of the system. Mm -hmm. And most of the people in the system, in the media, mm -hmm. you know, all the major media like BBC has said, all, most of the people have been weaned on a hereditary hierarchical caste system as Hinduism. They've been weaned right. because it's blamed mm -hmm. Excel, if you like. <laughs> all the, the awarding bodies, they can't take distinction. So most of the people in the United Kingdom mm -hmm. who have come across Hinduism, mm -hmm. they picked up on a hereditary hierarchical caste system as Hinduism. Mm -hmm. I had to fight Ed Excel to take it out. Mm -hmm. They're taking it out finally, but right. they had to fight them for mm -hmm. 20 years. Mm -hmm. So what has happened is this, most of the MPs and even the people in the House of Lords have been weaned on hereditary caste system as Hinduism. Mm -hmm. So now they are saying, oh yes, you must legislate this nasty thing, you must mm -hmm. but damn it, you've been taught the wrong stuff. Mm -hmm. And now because you are very poorly educated, mm -hmm. you're trying to introduce legislation to ban it. Right. Because you don't understand exactly what it is and why it has disappeared and mm -hmm. why you can't revive it. Mm -hmm. Is poor education, not by the Hindus, mm -hmm. by the Western media, mm -hmm. by the people in authority, with the members of parliament. In fact, some of the Hindu members of parliament mm -hmm. can't distinguish between a hereditary caste system and a benevolent clan system. Mm -hmm. They can't distinguish. Mm -hmm. They say, Mr. Lakhan, why are you saying it's wrong? I say it's wrong because it's disappeared, you're going to revive it. Mm -hmm. And because they have been brought up, mm -hmm. weaned on hereditary mm -hmm. caste system in Hinduism, they are still ready to promote this legislation. I wish this kind of video material mm -hmm. goes and knocks them out. It's necessary to really kind of mm -hmm. fire. Mm -hmm. Thank you.